Hey guys, it's my one year anniversary on YouTube. Woohoo! Sorry it was late, I've been off the ball lately. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why I started it, the stats, likes, views, etc. Studio analytics, the equipment and software I use, improvements and thoughts, and the aims for this year. So why did I start a YouTube channel? There are a couple of reasons why. My dad's passing, doing something productive and maybe useful and entertaining at the same time. I'm into film and directing, making memories with family and sharing it to friends. I know that Portal Pro was the initial starter as well. I've successfully done uh, 70 videos over the course of the year, posting once or twice a week. Some weeks have been very late due to the illness and uh, some cancelled videos mainly gaming related. In fact, the 63 people who follow me. I originally had four playlists, gaming, studio, cooking, fitness as the main pillars and unboxing. I've added a fifth one, uh, Code Arts, uh, later on in December 2021. So the next bit I'm going to be talking about the stats and uh, what's the most viewed and liked videos. Just a few examples like Here's my most viewed video of 1k, how to make a gem bing homemade version which I'm quite proud of because it's my first take on my cooking. I'm really happy with it. So special mentions to the Garmin 4 video which got over 1k as well. My most liked video was the Dance Fail Series 1 Super Tuner with 38 likes. My first collab with my uh, niece and nephew. It was really fun doing it as well. My most disliked video was the unboxing of your major rice cooker. Uh, not sure why, maybe just ate the rice cooker because it's expensive or what, I don't know. My least viewed video was the Fit Beast uh, unboxing. The video I liked the most was the uh, How to Make Homage Jones. The video worked out really well and it's a good collaboration with Homage and she's funny as well. The video I hate the most was the unboxing of Oculus Quest 2 because of the lighting and the bad editing that I done. The videos that I experimented on was the grill. This was my first unboxing video plus and I uh, just uh, wanted to add some extra footage. Also the fitness journey um, using the GoPro cameras. Pitch in picture I wanted to show that as well. My first video that is not related to the main pillars was the car viewing which made its own playlist which is called the uh, Boggy Studio. Light Your Garden I experimented on uh, slow motion and I edited on the MacBook Pro. Special mentions I use my VTag 3D avatar to explain what VTag is. The video that I was surprised with was the Project Jazz cleaning and putting on sparkle wheel covers. It's got like lots of views. The video that I was surprised with also was the chainsaw video. Uh, I'm happy that someone's viewing it at least. Thanks. First copyright video claim was uh, the shout out video to Flying Foxes 21, Brush, Bullgun, and DB Game Channels. First shot was the Tower Express C17038 air fryer. Uh, yeah, it's a good air fryer. Now onto the YouTube Studio Analytics channel dashboard. It says it's got 250 hours of watch time. People really like your videos you're creating. New achievement, 10,000 views, one month ago. More of your videos are being looked at more often, which is good. Also note that you can't see the yearly graphs and stuff like that. Just gonna whiz through this uh, at fast speed. What they're showing here is the what's the most popular video that month. So the traffic source is mainly YouTube search. Jog free is mainly United Kingdom. Uh, people who are 65 and over watching it, mainly female. Tristan Stasis, mainly non subscribe watching. The Wangi Studio, which is the most viewed mobile device. And I'm just going to skip bits and bobs here. Okay, so here's the equipment I've got. I've got a GoPro chesty for doing the running. Go for a head strap with a quick clip. GoPro Hero 7 Black, GoPro freeway mount with tripod hidden in the bottom, you can just mount it up, really useful. Snowball microphone, mic crane, light and mobile holder, compact travel tripod, it extends out, it's really useful. Apple M1 MacBook Pro 14, compact green screen, Android green screen set, and Android light switch my brothers and iPhone 13 Pro Max. So to edit the videos I used Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022. It's 55.95. I got the DLC. I'm going to show you some in the future, and I bought that on sale as well. Editing takes me around two to four days. I think I do two to three hours each day for longer videos. Unbox videos are obviously quicker, but I waste some time picking music for each video. For thumbnails, I use Canva. It's free. I got a few on CD as reference. It's easy to use them as a template for new stuff. I use VLC to save screenshot and then upload to Canva and then begin the creation. There's been a few times I wasn't happy with the results, so I've had the stuff, for example, the lychee and wongi pets, I added the Instagram logo. I had the problem with the recent FitXR form showing up a bit pixelated, so I had to lower the resolution down and tidy up a bit. 
there's been a few videos where I've updated the Adam borders and getting the images sharper. For recording audio I use Audacity, again it's free and simple and I also use the memo on iPhone to record uh, notes. Improvements, video image quality is bad in some videos so I was going to get a new camera but so doubt I'm going to rely on my iPhone for now. Sound, I'm always having problems with sound because uh, due to illness I can't listen to things too loud. So I'm just going to lower down the volume on parts which I've been doing lately. The thing that needs updating is the UI in general and the YouTube logo and banner which I'll probably do soon. I'm finally uploading on time, more cooking, improving my voice and family videos. The thing I find most difficult doing YouTube videos is it's very time consuming. I still kind of struggle doing the editing as well. I'm trying to make them professional but like it's kind of hard. But I'll definitely give my identity in them. Hopefully do more experimental videos soon. Means for this year, buy new equipment, uh, start t-shirts, start live cooking show, work on a film project, do a paranormal mystery documentary, I don't know how I'm going to do that, produce a short showcase under the city of Liverpool. I'm going to take a little break on YouTube for two weeks uh, and hopefully I'll get some new content. Okay guys, thanks for watching and if you have any comments, please comment below. Please like, subscribe and follow. See you later, take care, bye! <laughs>